Shumai GTA Chums. This is a Buffalo EVX and it's discounted this week 30% off, so rather than 2.1 million, it's 1.68 million, which is a very good price for the car. Now, it's an electric and it's also Imani Tech and yeah, maybe you'll want to buy it, but maybe your main reason to buy it is going to be the styling. It's based on the new Dodge Challenger. Now that they're not going to be doing petrol engines anymore, it's going to be electric. But I like the look of it. Like the, the vents at the front just looks, looks just like the real thing, and the stretched nature of it. You know, the longer, the way it's longer. I just like the longer look to it. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's do some upgrades first, and then we'll talk about the uh, performance. Okay, you got the bolted, you got the wide arches, the bolted arches. I like those wide arches. I'll leave them on. And uh, armor plating. You got the Imani Tech. If you don't like the look of that, you can get rid of it. But it's Imani Tech, so I put it on. Uh, all the brakes are uh, upgraded to the max. Um, let's have a look at the bumpers. So front bumpers. We've got a secondary splitter on it. So we're incorporating that secondary colour that way. We could put a different splitter if we wanted to. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it. Um, street diffuse. Oh yeah, you've got these uh, diffusers. And I wasn't convinced by any of them really. Maybe that one, but I may as well go with none because I, I just like the cleaner look to it. Engines upgraded. Um, bonnet. This is where you can change a bit. So it's not a massive amount of change, is it? You're just adding a bit of a vent, aren't you? Basically. Um, yeah, it keeps the same styling. I'm going to go for that buffalo hood. It has a little bit of a vent. Imani Tech, I've got a missile lock on Jammer, which will cost you another <coughs> 400 grand. Livery, we've got the black stripes. Maybe we want some white stripes. There's a classic, a challenger. And Reggae Rum, Raga Rum. Um, yeah. And Sprunk. I'm not too excited by any of those, really. The white stripes seems to be... Or the black stripes, it seems to be, for me. Or Zero. Let's go with Zero and see what we do. Um, now, Colours. Respray. You could go for a matte colour if you wanted to. Matte black does look amazing, but have I done that before? Hold on, let's just look at my channel. Uh, what's it called? EVX. It is... No, I've done grey. <laughs> And I've done blue. Okay, so we figured that out. But oh, that looks nice. Just ice white. But let's have a look at the others. I've not done that blue, but I'm not going to use blue again. The green looks amazing. That's what my immediate thought was to go for the green. Um, but I'm going to do a white build because I don't do that enough. And that means the secondary colour can be something really frivolous and exciting, like a red. Um, that candy red, if we have that. So candy red does look... Actually, we've just come from candy red. Why am I doing that again? Um, but it red looks so good with the white. Let's just roll through, see if I can find something else. That's a bit... Notice how it's colouring the seats as well. So that's why your secondary... You probably want something that stands out. Purple doesn't necessarily stand out, but it does go with the white. So I think it's going to be purple for me. Trim colour. So this is where we can make it a little bit different. Notice, oh, the seat is still black, but I could add something like a, like the dark steel looks good, but light, bluish, bluish silver is a bit lighter. So we're going to go with that. We're not going to go with purple on purple. Put crew emblem. Cause on the bonnet this time. Roll cage, we didn't put any roll cage in, we could do if we wanted to, but it's not really that kind of car, I don't think. And the roof, we've got the stock roof at the moment. Lots of purple. And we've got the stripes roof, so that's got some detail that we can't really see. You've got a vent. I'm going to leave it stock though. I think stock is fine. I think going all white or not... Or it's pull or going home really, that's the best thing to do. <coughs> that doesn't make sense. Um, you've got the uh, secondary extended skirt, we're going to leave that, it's the best one. Similarly, the ducktail on this car is very nice. Now that has a little sticking out bit, which is a nice ducktail. We could put a, like that 
classic wing is like the classic um, much older dodge from the 70s but we're not going to do that it's having ducktail cut out or none but you get the traction bonus so we're going to leave it suspension you need to lower it to the max um, the rims now this is the original rim but I've done that trick where you colour it black um, but actually we're not going to change them but what we need to do is put bulletproof tyres on and tyre smoke maybe we just need to go black this time okay that's it done complete let's go for a drive and talk a little bit about performance why didn't they change the louvres why didn't they do that oh well the louvres look great on the back anyway you can get rid of those if you want to didn't see them somehow um, put the lights on the lights look pretty good looking at those and the front lights look at those they're very nice and it's just an overall I didn't change the plate either I could have done that with a colour like a, a red uh, <laughs> but for an, EV, for, for an EV vehicle it isn't the fastest but it, it does accelerate faster than your average car but it's not super fast um, but it's got an overall good speed but not brilliant so for that reason you're not going to buy it for being a fast car but you are going to buy it mainly for styling looks it handles all right it's all wheel drive so you know i think it's probably got some understeer to contend with the usual kind of business um but it drives nicely and that uh you could i was going to get rid of the louvre at the back but i'm not going to now i'm going to keep it for one more build um i've blacked out the windows previously i didn't do that either did i but it's just a nice car and there is a bit of a flaw with it which I think still exists where if you put bombs on it uh, it does take quite a few stickies if you put sticky bombs on it and then and then go and blow it up and then go in your office or something and then come back out again it takes quite a few sticks I think it takes about five and it blows up something like that so you know decent it's a decent car though uh, and you can see it doesn't stop working it, they've kind of half fixed that problem that it had so it's not fatally flawed it's a decent car and worth you considering for this week and for the price yeah, it's, it's good I doubt it's going to come down a great deal more than 30% because it's such a good looking car but it's an electric so you might not like the engine noise that it doesn't have but as it's I mean that back seat as well that's pretty terrible looking but the front seats are all good and the front dials which I would have preferred to have an electric display somewhere but never mind if you found this video useful if it was useful then drop a like and a subscribe but thank you very much for watching have a great day if you're playing the GTA